smile finds a, a low barrier. Inestimable about to come up. Carry the diamond still away, and we're down to Island Sunshine and Regency Poet, who's at 14 and 4.6. There was a bit of money for him at his first start for Benno Jung, and he disappointed, which is what he's done largely in his career, but no money tonight. All in, late scratching the 11, Zheng Lan Chi. They're off, favourite missed it one step ahead and he's going to be last. Take what you need was out quickly, beat Cigar Buddies for speed and that's no mean feat. Three wide as handsome rebel as Cigar Buddies now takes over. Carry the diamond running fourth and on the inside a sunny smile fifth. White as Regency Poet from Everjoy between horses and then came one step ahead. He's on the fence with Red Brick Glory three wide. Island Sunshine in the middle and a length away last is inestimable. It is Cigar Buddies the leader by a length and a quarter over Handsome Rebel. Three wide Regency Poet take what you need fourth and just niggled at a bit on the inside from Carry the Diamond. Red Brick Glory is four wide around Everjoy. Sunny Smile Island Sunshine. One step ahead travelling okay but he's got a wall of horses in front of him and last is inestimable cigar buddy springs off the bend and with 275 to run leads take what you need handsome rebel sunny smile and then came one step ahead take what you need he's taken over now from cigar buddies three lengths away handsome rebel sunny smile and one step ahead but take what you need for lyle hewitson's going to be too good take what you need first has beaten home cigar buddies third's pretty close between one step ahead and handsome rebel inestimable Estimable ran on, and then came Sunny Smile, Carry the Diamond, Ever Joy, Regency Poet, Red Brick Glory had a tough run, beat home Island Sunshine. The late scratching was number 11, Zheng Lan Chi. Take what you need, Lyle Hewitson, Douglas White. Start 29, win number one. Cigar Buddy second, third's really close. We had a dead heat for first in the opening race. Not sure it's going to be a dead heat for third, but there's not too much in it. Lyle Hewitson is uh, on the winner's list here. Douglas White's been his man. The South Africans have combined now for all three of Lyle's wins, with a couple of them coming in the last few weeks too. Three beats, six. It's very close for third. It was just niggled out when the pace went on, coming off the back. 110.2 is bang on standard. Has overhauled Cigar Buddies, beat him out at the gates and beat him home. They're off. Favourite missed it one step ahead, and he's going to be last. Take what you need was out quickly. Beat Cigar Buddies for speed, and that's no mean feat. Three wide as handsome rebel as Cigar Buddies now takes over. Carry the diamond running fourth, and on the inside is Sunny Smile fifth. White as Regency Poet from Everjoy between horses and then came one step ahead. He's on the fence with Red Brick Glory three wide. Island Sunshine in the middle and a length away last is inestimable. It is Cigar Buddies the leader by a length and a quarter over Handsome Rebel. Three wide Regency Poet take what you need fourth and just niggled at a bit on the inside from Carry the Diamond. Red Brick Glory is four wide around Everjoy. Sunny Smile Island Sunshine. One step ahead travelling okay but he's got a wall of horses in front of him and last is inestimable cigar buddy springs off the bend and with 275 to run leads take what you need handsome rebel sunny smile and then came one step ahead take what you need he's taken over now from cigar buddies three lengths away handsome rebel sunny smile and one step ahead but take what you need for lyle hewitson's going to be too good take what you need first he was a 28-start maiden in Hong Kong before this evening. He is a maiden no more. He gets the win here under Lyle Hewitson for Douglas White. Take what you need uh, scoring by three parts in the end. And um, a nice win there, Paul, in the end from this guy. And great to see Lyle uh, on another winner. And when it comes to sartorial elegance, Douglas White is leading the field this evening at very least. Uh, no, he normally does. <laughs> he's got some pretty good jackets on Douglas, which he's uh, collected over the years. And uh, you can see him there. Uh, giving the horse a, a well-deserved pat, take what you need, and a nice win from him. Let's have a look at the dividends here. 99 he paid, 24 of a place, 19 for second, and uh, 13 there for the favourite, third one step ahead. The Quinella 3 and 6, 259.50. The Forecast 3 to beat 6, 617. The Trio 3, 6 and 8, uh, 148. And... Uh, just waiting for the test, and it comes through now, and it's 1,243. Took a while, Jenny, but he got there in the end, did take what you need. Yeah, look, well done to uh, the connections there. It's, it has been a while, 28 starts, and getting his first win on the board, and a terrific ride by Lyle Hewitt. So he, he 
sort of jumped out the gate so well. Then he was able to get that lovely spot in behind the leader and uh, he was just too good as it turned out. So uh, perhaps he might be able to get two in a row. We see quite often when they've had uh, a long time before they get that first win, they can actually do it on a couple of occasions, particularly if he is able to stay in the grade here. Which Absolutely. might not be the case. He is off a rating mm. of 39, so he might have to go up again. Yes, yes, indeed. 21 winners now for Douglas White this season. That's Lyle's third of the season, of course. Funny and Elegance, uh, he's, he's other horse that he's been riding that has won twice for him. Um, Paul, another good run from, from one step ahead. He, he's continuing to hold form. There is the photograph. So he just holds on for third ahead of Handsome Rebel. Yeah, there was money for Handsome Rebel as well. But look, he, yeah, he stayed on really nicely. Proved run by Sunny Style, uh, Sunny Smile, mm. I should say. There, the 12, he wasn't too far away, but uh, cigar buddies, he was slightly slow out. So uh, take what you need. Got got there first, but then once he got to the lead, he uh, had every chance in front, and then he stayed on nice enough for second. Yeah, yeah. uncharacteristically, really, cigar buddies, uh, Jenny, being uh, being slow away than some. Yeah, well, that's true. But then take what you need. Just flung out of the gates, didn't mm. he? So uh, he really did get a good start on them. He certainly did. Indeed, and uh, take what you need getting the win. We'll take a look at the patrol footage very shortly and dissect uh, what uh, what may have come out of this race. As we see it now, they went without horse number 11, who was due to jump from gate four, hence it was vacant. But there you can see the winner very quick away. Take what you need with the white face. Cigar buddies having just to be chivied along by Antoine to get into his uh, favoured position. Uh, around the outside of them, we've got uh, Handsome Rebel going forward from Carry the Diamond down on the inside. Uh, is Sunny Smile on settling down. Uh, Everjoy is a little bit lit up towards the outside. Regency Poet. Further back, we've got Red Brick Glory, an estimable in the light green sleeves and cap, but towards the rear, along with Island Sunshine. And down on the inside, one step ahead uh, is uh, is towards the rear as well there, Paul. Yeah, so Cigar Buddies, he's doing it nice enough here. Uh, you can see getting every chance was Handsome Rebel, the eventual winner getting a nice trail. Uh, Regency Poet did it tough. He was three wide most of the way. Everjoy is coming under... Bit of pressure now is uh, wide. There was Redbrook Glory, so little excuse for him. Carry the diamond in the middle of the red. He runs on. This stage, you can see uh, this cigar, but he's still in front, but here comes the win eventual winner. He does indeed. He's a very flashy horse, isn't he? He's easily spotting the run, and uh, for all he's going to be chibbied along at an early stage, he has responded well to Lyle Hewitt's and Cigar Buddies not willing to lie down without a fight, but he's going to come off second best here this evening. Take what you need. Uh, he wanted uh, the win that little bit more over Cigar Buddies, and he got it from one step ahead in third, and Handsome Rebel running a good race, having been prominent early. The parade weighed in here, 3, 6, 8, and 1, and the Quintanella places 3 and 6, 88, 3 and 8, 49, 50, and 6 and 8, Return to 34. Composite win is an A1, which is the three, and that returns you 25.50. Forecast, three to beat six, 617. There's four, one, three, six, and eight, 231. And if you manage to get them in the correct order, get a little bit more there, just over seven grand. And the numbers you will need for the quartet are three, six, eight, and one. And that re will return you 7,275. A couple of doubles can come through from uh, the first race, the dead heat, so 4 to 3 is 236, 6 and 3 is 139.50 4 and 6, 33 and a pair of 6 is 1650 so dead heat of course if you did miss that in race number 1 And the sectional times, 23.83, where standard is 23.8. It's a spot-on standard there. 23.16, which is standard, is 22.95. Uh, then home in 23.21, standard is 23.45. The time is 110.2, standard's 110.2, so spot-on standard.